I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday. What I want to look at in this video is using the split squat or the front foot elevated split squat to discuss and evaluate knee position for when people have pain on the front of their knee. That's the first thing we're going to look at. The second thing we're going to look at is a lot of times people have pain in the front of their knee doing a lunge or a split squat, but it's not the front leg, it's the back leg. And that's many times not thought about as being an issue, but it, a lot of times it is. So what I want to look at first is if someone's doing a split squat, and a lot of times I'll use this as a screen because it's not uncommon to get people coming to see me because of pain on the front of the knee, specifically when doing lunges. So I talked about this, I don't know, maybe eight weeks ago, and uh, we were talking about knee pain during lunging, looking at reverse lunge versus forward lunge. So I'll, I'll touch on that again a little bit. Uh, but here's how I look at the screen. So I'll have somebody go into this split squat stance just like this and I'll have them lunge down. I won't cue beyond lunging down. I'll say tap the back knee to the ground. And what I'm going to look for when they do this is the angle on the front leg. Now, once they come back up, I'll have them switch legs and I'm going to compare how do they use the right side versus the left side. So let's say they go here and the shin is vertical and they come back up. Okay, no issue. Let me see the other side. And then they go here, and then you can see the difference in angle of the shin. When I see that, I go, okay, why are they doing it different side to side? Do they just not know how to do it? Do they not have the mobility to do it in the, um, in the hip or what, whatever it is? Why can they not do it on one side versus the other side? A lot of times what I find is that the person doesn't know how to control going down like this they just tend to lean forward like this. That's just what feels normal to them. So a lot of times it's more about teaching them how to keep a vertical shin by just telling them keep a vertical shin or put a dowel or something here and say descend down, don't touch your knee don't uh, to the dowel, don't let it come forward. So I'll use that and again, I, I, sometimes I'll use it in a front foot elevated split squat, meaning instead of me just doing it on the ground like this, I'll stack a, little, uh, a couple plates on the ground so it's like four to six inches tall, front foot goes on that, back leg still on the ground and then I'll look again at the shin angle side to side. And I typically want that to be vertical. I don't want it to be really far forward, especially if making it vertical gets rid of the knee discomfort that the person is asking me about in the first place. The second thing though is frequently, someone will say it's not my front knee in the lunge that hurts, it's the back knee. And again, what I'll look at is, I'll, I'll always watch somebody do the movement. So I'll see what does it look like when they do it. But what you have to consider is this, and this is how I'll explain to somebody. If you had a scale under the front foot and a scale under the back foot, and it measured the percentage of your body weight that you're pushing into each foot, I have them think about it. What, how much am I pushing in each leg? So for example, if they go down, they're like, oh, that hurts in the front of my knee on this side. There's a lot of pressure there. It's really, uh, feels like it's gonna rip or stretching or it's just sharp pain. I go, look, why don't you think about putting more pressure into the front scale, less pressure into the back scale, and then if they start to sort of have a mind-body connection of load up this leg, unload this, and that gets rid of their pain, that can be an extremely effective method because usually when that's the issue, I do a knee exam and it's normal. They don't have like a tear, but they have knee pain. And if this leg is back, you're going to be stretching a lot, all the quads around the front of the knee. And if then you're pushing the back foot into the ground, you're gonna contract the muscle in this elongated state, and that can be painful for some people. And I've had it where someone describes they put 30% in the front foot and 70% in the back foot, and they had no idea it was primarily supposed to be driving from the front foot. So these things can be simple, but they are often overlooked, which is an issue because sometimes the simple thing is the thing that people need the most. So. Next time, if you're dealing with this or if someone else is dealing with this, consider if it's the front leg, the shin angle, and not letting it go so far forward. And again, see if that eliminates symptoms. And second, if it's the back leg, consider that scale from front foot to back foot and how much are you doing in each leg and modify that. And of course, the proof is in the pudding. If you do that and it makes it better, that's moving evidence, if you will that that's the culprit. So that's what I got for you guys this week on Movement Fix Monday. If you don't already follow us on Instagram, make sure to check us out at The Movement Fix. And you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash The Movement Fix. I'll see you guys next week.